What up, YouTube? It's Misery Hates Company. In this video, I want to talk about the elephant in the room, which is the monetization in Diablo Immortal. And is it pay to win? There feels like a pretty obvious answer to me, but I want to talk through it because I, there have been a lot of comments about it, lots and lots of videos about it. So hopefully if you fall across this video amongst all the other ones, you find it interesting because I am going to put my own spin on it and maybe we can find some middle ground here. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So here we are on my account. I'm currently level 44 on my mage. And I'm going to be honest, um, it's it. <laughs> this game is definitely pay to win. People who pay are actually able to, if you go to the shop, they're able to do this. They're going to get a bunch of these legendary crests. And what legendary crests do, if you go to the, um, over here, to the Elder Rifts, when you have, um, they guarantee you a legendary they guarantee you a legendary gem. Legendary gems are easily the end game um, like thing that you need to go for once you hit the end game. And legendary chest or crest rather are the only way you're gonna guarantee at least one. So basically you put in one legendary crest, you're guaranteed at least one legendary gem. Now it does go up incrementally all the way up to 10. You can do actually 10 crests in one single uh, rift and you can get at least 10, you could get more. And then there's, of course, like I said, even if you don't use a legendary crest, you can actually just get very, very lucky in the low, 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 very low percent chance of getting a legendary gem, but it is a very low chance. So basically, spenders can go to the shop and straight up buy as many crests, um, it's cosmetics, crests. So you can literally go over here, get as much of this in-game premium currency and buy a unlimited amount of legendary crest which is going to make them just immensely stronger than literally anyone who is going to be free to play or even a low spender for that matter. It is going to be night and day difference between a pay to win and free to play low spender or just casual. So now where, how does that affect the gameplay? So now keep in mind when like any mobile game, PVP is going <laughs> to reign supreme for the pay to win. So no difference here in, in Diablo Immortal when, when it comes to PVP, they are going to absolutely dominate. You're going to probably get one shot. I've heard several people talk about getting one shot in PvP. And guess what? Yep, that's that's what's going to happen. That's the reality. I don't see them doing any type of like stats squishing. Maybe there'll be a different PvP that we can actually just have no gear at all. Or maybe there's a, speci a specific gear that you have to use for this type of PvP battleground, if you will, that you only get from playing different PvP modes and earning a different currency. That way it's like a level playing field and just truly skill based, which would be fantastic. But currently it's very pay to win. Now, is this game a wash? In my opinion, honestly, no, I don't think so at all. I am very much enjoying this game. I'm nowhere near max level. I haven't even hit Paragons. I haven't hit the end game yet. I am just grinding and having a very, very good time. Um, I have gotten three legendaries. I have barely upgraded my gear. Um, I do have at least the 246 legendary gems. They're all one stars. It's nothing crazy. Um, I, the highest I've upgraded anything is my weapon at to five. And that's about it. But ultimately, when it comes to Diablo games, for those of you that came from PC or not and just are familiar with Diablo, or maybe this is your first Diablo game, Diablo is, is and always has been a huge grind. It's how strong can you get your hero? It's grinding those greater rifts. How high of a greater rift can you get to? How high of a challenge rift can you get to? And can you clear it by yourself? Can you clear it fast? There's leaderboards. And of course, pay to win is going to dominate that. But there's still a spot in PVE for free to play or casual gamers. I don't think I've heard a lot of people talk about how it's pay to win. And then as soon as you get to max level, they're just going to like shelf the game. You can do that. Don't get me wrong. If that's you and you don't want to play this game anymore because you feel like it is truly that pay to win, that's fine. I don't hold that against you. For me personally, I'm gonna keep playing until it's not fun. Cause I mean, ultimately I'm having fun right now. So why would I put a specific end date on my fun being max level? There's a ton of stuff that I can do solo without literally any interference from anyone else. And it'd be totally fine. And they're constantly talking about new things that are coming to the game. So I don't think this is a just level grind zero to 60 and then chalk the game. I think that this is a still very well made game. Um, I'm very much enjoying it. I find myself playing it a lot. 
And I do think that there are pay to win aspects, like I said, for especially for PvP and high end PvE, but there's obviously raids that you can do, um, the eight man raids you can do for P PvE again. And if anything, you're benefiting from the whales of that, that aspect because they're going to be on your team. So I don't think that this game is just a dumpster fire like a lot of people are making it out to be. It's definitely pay to win. There's no way around that. But it's a lot of fun. And if you're enjoying playing it, then don't. And you don't want to spend money, then don't. Just enjoy the game because there's a lot to enjoy even without spending money. That's my take on it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I know this is a very heated topic, so I figured I'd go ahead and address the elephant in the room early on in the content for Diablo Immortal. So let's go and have a healthy and keyword on healthy conversation in the comments below. Let me know what you think.